Despite the association of bats and vampires, of the over 1,200 species of bats in the world, only three are vampires. They make small incisions in sleeping animals and lap up the blood. Vampire bats may even be beneficial to humans. 47 bat species are found in the U.S., with 34 native to Texas. The majority of bats in Texas are insectivorous, and they sure do eat a lot of insects. The more than 100 million Mexican free tails that inhabit central Texas during the summer consume 1,000 tons of insects per night. These bats fly far and wide to consume both agricultural and urban pests. How do you reap the benefits of bats? Chances are you already do. If you use cotton or consume cucumber or corn products, you've already experienced a benefit of bats. They keep agricultural pests such as cotton bollworm, weevil, and rootworm from consuming important crops. Some bats in West Texas, such as the Mexican long-nosed bat, pollinate mainly the agave plant. So think a bat if you drink tequila or use agave syrup. If you use laundry detergent, you are using enzymes that have been synthesized from enzymes found in bat guano. Insectivorous bats not only consume a large number of pests in the area, but their presence alone has been found to deter insects from an area. You can experience the benefits of bats firsthand by installing a bat house. Of the 34 bat species native to Texas, eight are most likely to live in bat houses. Pallid bats are found in the panhandle to the south and west and feed on invertebrates such as scorpions. Big brown bats, which are found in West Texas, the Panhandle, and East Texas, have a diet that includes cucumber beetles. The southeastern myotis is found in the piney woods, and it feeds on aquatic insects, including mosquitoes. The cave myotis is found in North Central Texas, the Panhandle, and South Texas, and West Texas, and their diet includes flying insects. The Yuma myotis, which is found in the Trans Pecos in Rio Grande Valley, feeds on mosquitoes amongst other invertebrates. The evening bat in the eastern one-third of Texas feeds on moths and other invertebrates. The tricolor bat, which occupies the eastern one-half of Texas, has a diet that includes grain moths. Mexican free-tailed bats are found statewide, and they feed on cotton bollworm moths, army cutworm moths, and other pests. Big brown bats and Mexican free-tailed bats are the most common occupants of North American bat houses. Regardless, all of these bats are insectivorous and provide many important ecological benefits. For example, a colony of 150 big brown bats can protect local farmers from up to 33 million rootworms each year. Bats consume numerous agricultural pests and save farmers an estimated $22.9 billion a year.